All right, 21 questions. I told you if you'd asked them, I'd answer them. So I'm gonna eat my words now. It says, who are your inspirations? Is the first one. Mm, I have a lot. Um, family, musical. I don't leave anybody out. So I just don't answer the question. Okay, that's jacked up, I know. But uh, inspirations, I don't know. I don't know. My mom bought me my first guitar. Um, uh, my life kind of sucks, so I guess my inspiration is life. <laughs> uh, when did you first learn the guitar? Um, first learned it, never. I don't know how to play the guitar. I bought one when I was given one when I was like 10 years old. I bought like this little book so I could flip through it and learn all the notes and stuff. And um, I got to like the fourth chapter in the book was like uh, tabs. So I never finished. I mean, I know like the chords and stuff. I know a lot of the main stuff, but I wouldn't say I was like ever like classically trained on it or anything like that. But I know enough. I play by sound, really. I play by pitch and stuff, so. Three, how did you get interested in the guitar? My aunt always had some really nice guitars that we weren't allowed to touch. And it's human nature to always want what you can't have. So, that's how that happened. Um, that's how I really got interested in it. I love rock music. When I was like six years old, my mom said I used to sneak into the room and turn it on like rock and roll and headbang and stuff, which I don't know why she allowed me to do that. I probably lost some valuable knowledge in early stages of my life. But I did it, and I don't, I can't say I regret it, but I don't remember. I probably blacked out. Um, what is the story behind you writing Define Me? Um, Define Me, not really a story behind it. I guess there's a point behind it. Um, it's when you're with somebody for so long, you kind of do the same things they do. You know, your kind of characteristics become the same. You catch yourself saying the same stuff. You're like, oh man. And like it says in the course, is you hide me beside me. Uh, beside me, I can't recognize myself, which means like you, you're there. But I mean, if you were outside looking in, you'd probably be like, man, you don't do that stuff. What are you doing? You know. But I mean, that's compromising. You're know, with somebody, you always do stuff you don't want to do. Happens every day, every day. How long does it take for you to come up with the riffs for your original songs? Um, years. <laughs> I know it sounds jacked up, but I got songs that I wrote when I was like. 11, 12. A lot of the stuff I have now comes from some of the tabs and stuff, you know. Um, I have this little book here that I got a long time ago. And I just would write down, you know, riffs and stuff that I come up with, words. Uh, I got full songs in there that haven't been recorded yet. I've got uh, just tabs. Like I write the songs and I put the tabs in there at the end. That way, later when I come across it, I know it's going to click for something, so I don't throw it away, you know, you can't throw away a good idea. Um, but, I don't really, I mean, that's tough to say. Some happen overnight, some happen, like I said, over years. I still got some that I'm like, man, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with this, but it sounds cool. I keep playing it. Um, what makes you want to cover a song? Um, if I can sing it, first of all, like I don't do Guns N' Roses covers, because I don't, you know, I don't want to have to squeeze my balls and get up that high you know I don't have a voice like that so gotta fit in your range because I'll go to a bar and I'll hear cover bands and stuff and they'll be playing songs that don't fit them and I'm like man that kind of sucks because if you don't know where your own limits are you can't really expect people to take you seriously I guess uh, it's my point of view though you can I'm sure you'll comment if you hate that comment um what was the story and writing process behind unrealized unrealized Actually, I didn't post it up. I almost didn't post it up because I did it so fast. I did it like in three days. Um, I came up with the first part and I was like, hey, that sounds cool if I sing over it. And uh, I liked it. I kept singing over it. And then I just started, you know, what I do is when I come up with like a really cool rift is I'll sit there for like 30 minutes and I'll just vent all this crap in my life that's going on. And usually I'll keep most of it and I'll just change out pieces that I think fit better or something you know like you don't want to be talking about oh you know I can't believe I, I messed up this person's life and then all of a sudden be like I hate the sun <laughs> you know you can't be like that because it doesn't make sense it doesn't flow right so you gotta mix and match but that one 
pretty much wrote itself. I couldn't really think of any other words that fit really good where everything else goes, and I like it. It's got a kind of punchy feel to it, so I kept it. I put it up, and uh, I don't know if there's really a story behind it. It just kind of happened, but um, what is the first song you ever learned? First full song I ever learned was probably um, Stained. It's been a while. I know it's not on YouTube, but I'll, I'll get to it. I promise. I just haven't really remembered actually until right now after I saw that question but I mean there's other songs like House of the Rising Sun and stuff you play in a little book but those don't count because I mean everybody can play like when the Saints go marching in and stuff okay do you have any cool scars there's a lot of weird questions that I got some were kind of disturbing but um I guess I mean I'm cool scars uh I've broken like every finger on my hands or jammed at least one of them. Um, busted up my eye on a rock. Um, they say chicks like scars, but I don't know if that's true. I'm not a chick, I couldn't tell you, but I don't I don't know if I have any cool scars. I mean, there's one on my hand there that kind of cuts across that I guess is kind of cool slasher looking, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Um, where would you get the names Vertigo and Shadow Sessions? Vertigo was the name of the first band I was trying to put together didn't really work out but I like the name so I kept it um shadow sessions um I picked shadow sessions for the CD because 80% of the songs I have I wrote at night or in the dark or something at night you know I mean I'll either be sleeping and the riff comes into my head and I'll get up and play it or I just practice at night because I think at nights when my voice is nice and warmed up after the whole day and I feel like I get to unwind and relax and tonight so shadow session just made sense but yeah vertigo i had a band a long time ago that we had worked through uh some covers and stuff nothing really serious we were like in high school or something but you know vertigo was like you know the like a dizzying fear of stuff and you know it, it, it's it's a lot of personal definition for me but i like it what is your favorite drinking song I like Leonard Skinner's Simple Man. It's a really good drinking song. Um, Hell Yeah, Alcohol and Ass. It's a really good drinking song. Um, I just like to drink. So, any song is a good drinking song if you do it right. <laughs> Who do you like to watch on YouTube? Um, not me. I don't like my recorded voice or being on video. So, anybody who's not me, pretty much. No, I like uh, original music. I'll sit here for hours just going through everybody's original music. Um, right now, well, I mean, there's this guy on my friend's list named Paul, Paul Guitar Player. If you get a chance to check him out because his freaking music is awesome. He's, he does some crazy stuff. He's not even that old either. It's just crazy how much talent is out there. Um, I came across a profile called Riley Stallings. She's got a song called Blunt that I haven't been able to get the main riff out of my head. And uh, there's another girl I just came across yesterday, actually, um, Katrian Maxwell, her and her sister, guitar players. I don't know if I said her name right. I'm sorry if I didn't. But uh, she's got a song out there called So Far From Home that I think is awesome, awesomely done. You should check it out if you get a chance. Um, let's see. Where do you get tabs for your covers? Um, ultimate-guitar.com is usually where I go but most of them suck so I gotta rewrite them I mean not they suck but they're all in different tuning or people don't know their own tuning so I gotta rewrite it um, some songs I'll just tab myself I tabbed out a Believe and Tangled Up in You on my own um, how long does it take you to finish an original